Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, TD Civ again. Uh, this is just a little video on the um, actual so called waterproof uh, Hobby Wing 80 amp waterproof ESC. It's uh, brushless and everything. Um, it is pretty waterproof, or oh, water resistant, we should say, but uh, it failed on me. Um, I actually have this one here, as you can see, it's all nice and dirty. Um, this is in one of my scale trucks uh, that I converted to brushless and everything and I actually used it. It actually worked pretty good until I started getting into deep water and I guess once a little bit of water seeped into it, you could, it started cogging and everything and all of a sudden it stopped. It actually got so bad, I actually had to walk into a puddle that I actually drove my truck through thinking that I'd be no problems with it and it was about a foot and a half deep. So I actually had to pull my truck out and everything and then try to get to work and it wouldn't work until I got home and took it apart. So what this video is for is to show you guys what you have to actually do to this thing to actually make it 100% waterproof. Uh, first thing is you got to take it apart, pop the fan off, take the screws out so you can pull the bottom off. Now the bottom and the bottom case is actually waterproof. There was no water in this at all. Uh, when I actually took a quick glance at this thing, I couldn't even see if there was any water in this at all or anything until I actually took the heat sink and that off. So, take these four screws off. Uh, give me a second here, guys. Oh, just lost a screw. Try not to lose any screws or anything. You actually pop this heat sink off and there's the heat sink pad and that and it has this little rubber gasket in here as you can see gonna pop that out and the problem with this thing is um, actually not the gasket or the heat sink and everything it's actually this little plastic ring cover here there's no gasket in between it and the circuit board so you have to kind of slowly pry it up because of the wiring and everything. You don't want to actually desolder anything on this. But what the problem was, um, that little gasket would seal the heat sink pieces, the MOSFETs. But it would get water in here into the caps and everything. And it would actually seep in and underneath the other gasket. It actually would get this, these MOSFETs slightly wet. And then that's when the truck would shut off into safety mode and everything. So what you got to do to actually waterproof it, um, you can take some Corrosion X if you want or, or um, you can use a Plasti Dip or you can use um, Shugu um, to do it. What I do is I'll take a, I'll, I'll actually spray some Plasti Dip in here into the crevices underneath the cap and everything. I'll mask all this off because you don't want anything on the actual MOSFETs or the heat sinks. So I'll actually, from here, forward would actually be covered in Plasti Dip. And then I'll take some Shugu and I'll actually force it all in there and then uh, press the little piece back. And I'll do the same things around each of these wires and the reason why and all around here on the edges. So pretty much all what covers this on the edges. And the reason why I do it is because then it will actually waterproof underneath this too. And then put it all back together. And then the other thing you do is you put that gasket back in. Um, it goes this way. Oh, let's flip that back over. So we'll stick this back in it. And then what I'll use is I'll actually use a compound heat sink grease. And I'll actually compound heat sink grease this whole thing, this whole area. I'll just smear it all in there and it will ooze out. And the reason why you do that is because it will still dissipate heat but it will actually help seal off um, the gasket some more so no water can get in there. And once you do that, um, the actual EC is totally waterproof then. But uh, if you don't do that, and once you start running it for a little bit, you'll notice that your truck will start to cog uh, once in a while, uh, especially at full throttle. And then it just will eventually just stop if you got the ESC totally submerged. So, and that was the problem with mine. Um, so, that's what I figured out. 
and I've already did it to another ESC actually the same ESC I already did it to it and I tested it and it worked out perfect I actually put it in a, a cup of water and let it sit there for about 20 minutes and then powered it up and then ran the motor and everything ran fine so uh, if you do that then uh, you guys shouldn't have any problems with it after that but uh, yeah as you can see there is no gasket in there so it still will seep in into here and everything it's just a little bit extra precaution um, they should have waterproofed the caps because you know they're caps you know they get water they're, sooner or later they're just gonna pop or whatever and then don't forget about this gasket that goes on the bottom of this so it actually goes like this the groove side the groove marking and everything the flat side goes against the circuit board and this side actually goes down against the case so just make sure you you know make sure you get your all your wires through there again and then let's sit like that grab the case put it all back together put the screws in and you're all good okay hope this helps